Hey everyone, welcome back to Seriously Creative. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my resin pieces and the reason I do this is to seal in the bale at the back and this makes it really strong and makes sure it doesn't fall out because it's actually sealed in there um, and there's going to be no chance of it falling out. So I've got my two pieces here, one is domed, as you can see it's nice and shiny and the other one is undomed. And this is just an example of doming on the front as well. So you can also do a clear layer on the front and it makes your pieces really nice and shiny. Sometimes I'll do this if my piece is matte when I pop it out of the mold. If it's a matte piece, I'll do a top doming just to make it nice and shiny or sometimes I'll just do it just for extra shine because it makes it look really nice. So this is the resin that I've been using at the moment to do my doming. I got it off eBay. It's not actually the best quality, it's really thick. They advertised it for resin art and I don't think you could use it for that because it's really thick and bubbly. But for doming purposes, it's fine. This is the liquid gloss two-part epoxy resin and this is what I usually use for my um, resin pieces. But seeing as though I've got these um, other resin left over, I'm gonna just use that for my doming today. I've got my gloves on and I'm going to just mix my two part resin. I forgot to mention the reason I actually use this resin is um, the resin that's not that good quality is because it's quite thick and when you're doming you actually want the resin to be quite thick because when you put it on your piece you don't want it to run off the edges so when it's a bit thicker it just makes it a little bit easier to dome. So I've got my two parts here I'm just going to mix it together just as usual. So I like to add a little bit of the pearlescent makeup powder to my doming resin and this just gives it a really pretty shimmer. Some people like to keep theirs clear or some people like to add a colour. Um, the most common is white that I've seen but I just like to add a little bit of the pearlescent powder just because it looks really pretty and shimmery and then you can still see the colour of the piece through it as well. So you can see it looks quite thick. If you're not using a resin that's thick, if it's quite runny to begin with, I'd probably recommend leaving it for about half an hour just to, to set a little bit and just to thicken up. It'll just make it a lot easier when you try to dome. So this is what I'm going to be sticking on the back of my pieces. They're called bales. I get mine from eBay and I just search heart bales or something like that. Um, and yeah, you just stick it on the back. I use either a super glue or UV resin. At the moment I've been using super glue just because I don't want to waste my UV resin because it's not cheap. But this is a UV resin that I use. I just get that from eBay as well. And I've got a UV torch that I can just cure it with. So I just sit the bale in the place that I want to stick it and then either cure it with the UV resin or stick it with the super glue. So when I do any kind of resin, I use these doming mats um, and pretty much they are just pot holders that I got from Kmart. So they're made of silicon and basically if any resin drips onto it, it's really easy to peel off and it just keeps everything clean. So anytime I'm doing any doming or if I'm letting some pieces set, I'll sit them on top of this just to make sure I don't make a mess. So I'm just laying out my pieces to get ready for the doming. When I dome my Pikachus, I actually have to sit it on the edge because the ears make it a little bit off balance. It's not completely flat. So when you do your doming, it has to be completely flat. So I just balance the ears off the edge here. And sometimes I'll put some baking paper underneath just to make sure if anything drips off, it doesn't go onto my desk. 
Okay, so now we're ready to start doming. So I just use my paddle pop stick to place little blobs onto the piece that I'm trying to dome and I would recommend doing one piece at a time so don't put don't put the resin onto all of the pieces and then try and spread it out because you're just going to make a huge mess and I've done it before where I try and dome too many pieces at once so just do one at a time you can just see that I'm putting it on top of the piece and just using my petal pop stick to push it around to the edges really carefully um, you can pick it up by the bale might be just a little bit easier to move it around so it doesn't move on the, the mat there. You want to make sure that you cover the bale as well, that's the most important part is to make sure that you're doming the bale in so it doesn't fall out. And the good thing with the resin being a little bit thicker and, and starting to set, when you actually pick the pieces up it doesn't run everywhere. So that's another reason I like to just um, make sure that the resin's a little bit thicker. So you can pick the piece up and you can look at it and you can move it around to make sure it's spread everywhere and it's not going to spill over. So then I'm just going to go ahead and go over it with a lighter just to pop any micro bubbles. That just makes sure the back of the piece is really nice and smooth and yeah, has no bubbles in it. I always use a lighter because it's quite um, not as hot as something like a baker's torch. I definitely not recommend that because you're going to end up melting things and ruining your molds and possibly ruining your resin as well because if the resin gets too hot you can actually burn it and leave like a charred effect on the back so just use a lighter it's a lot safer so what you want to do for the next hour or so is actually just babysit the pieces make sure that there's no dripping over the edges i'm just trying to show you i don't actually pick them up i just look at it from the side you can kind of see where it's dripped over and most of the time it'll actually be where the bale is because that's where it breaks the surface tension on the edge. So if there's any drips, it's usually over where the bale is. And if you have any little accidents, um, what I use is just isopropyl alcohol. So this one's called isocol, but you can use pretty much any kind of alcohol and a cotton tip and you can just clean it up as long as you get it in time before it sets. So within a couple of hours, as long as you clean it up, you should be fine. So I'm just showing you quickly if it does drip over the edge, you can just wipe it off like this. And because the resin's quite set, it's not going to drip over the edges anymore. So you can you can hold it, you can tilt it to the side if you need to, and you can just wipe it really quickly and then sit it back down. And you should be able to save your piece that way. I tend to cover up my resin pieces with a container as well 
just to make sure that when the resin's setting there's no fluff or cat hair in my case because my sister has a cat and it leaves hair everywhere so um, I'll try and cover it up with a plastic container just to keep any dust off it. Most of the time it's fine like sometimes I leave it uncovered and there's no problems but if it's something that I am going to list on my Etsy store and I want it to be perfect I make sure that I cover it up. Okay, so here is a perfect example of an overspill. So I'm just trying to get a good angle here just so you can see it's actually dripped over a little bit where the bale is, which happens quite often with these hearts. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's basically just a little drip of resin. Yeah, you can see it a bit better there. So I'm just going to grab my alcohol and a cotton tip. I'm just trying to get a good angle so you can see what I'm doing. It's a little bit hard. And um, yeah, just clean the resin off and then you can sit it back down and just let it set as normal. So they're all finished. I hope the video was helpful for you. If you have any other questions, just comment below. Don't forget I've got an Instagram and an Etsy, both under Seriously Creative. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.